everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and I'm back with another Toy Hacks review and I've been expecting this set the moment it came out. I purchased it, very excited. Today I'm going to uh, apply these stickers to Hauler from the Velocitron 500 line and I'm really excited. And also, um, Toy Hacks now has new uh, inserts like, uh, you know, to protect the decals in the envelopes. Uh, it used to be the standard just black and white uh, Toy Hacks but now they have... Whoop, I have a picture of uh, Scourge and uh, you know their uh, logo and I'm guessing maybe now we'll see a rotation of promotional images from Toy Hacks. I think that's really cool um, and also you know if you want to keep those for your dioramas it's a possibility now so you know it's something and maybe not for everybody but uh, I think I'll uh, hold on to these just in case. So before I get started, I want to remind everybody to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, and also check out my sponsor, DJC Collectibles, fantastic online store. And now, on to the review. So out of the box, he already looks pretty good. Hauler is a fantastic repaint of Grapple. Uh, I love this mold. It's one of the highlights of Earthrise and then Kingdom with Inferno and Generation Select and now the Velocitron line. This mold is a hit. Everybody likes it. I haven't seen anyone who disliked it. And you know, there's they fixed the QC issue that we had with the Grapple, so that's good. I like this guy. I love this mold. If they make a blue one, I'll probably get it. Taking a look at the decals, they're supposed to make him look even more like a Constructicon. Because uh, he was one of them, according to the Retcon lore. And I like it. Uh, there's different logos. Actually, it's pretty cool that they have the Decepticon logo if you want to make him a uh, pre-Earth Constructicon. Uh, the purple Autobot, that's kind of cool. It kind of a mix and match. You have the regular Autobot. And then you have this, I don't know, painted over scratch. Looks, it looks really good, but I don't think I'll use it. I think I'm going to stick with the Autobot logo. Uh, but I'm gonna, I enjoy the, the, the purple underneath. Or maybe it's blue, again, I'm colorblind. But it's gonna go right here. I like the details on, that's gonna be added to the crane. Uh, lots of pin covers, I love those. Uh, you have hauler uh, twice. So maybe a back and forth or just an extra. And then you have the chromed one or silver it's not really chrome it's kind of just reflective silver uh, looks uh, looks good my ring light totally missing up where you don't see the cut lines too much ah there you go uh, so this I know by experience that these will be for the uh, connectors here uh, I can't recall uh, uh, the rest of it and then here it says well you can't see on camera or can you it says R-L-G-A-U-S, part three of three. Uh, I don't know what that means. And then the last one on vinyl backing, uh, windows here, some steel plates over here, looking pretty good. And then you have all the knees and the, the shin and the thigh decals. Oh man, this is gonna look awesome. All right, so I can't wait to do this one. And what I'm really looking forward to is comparing him to the uh, the other three to have that group shot. Taking a look at the figure itself, I wish he didn't have that smudge on his face. You can see right here, there's a paint smudge and a little bit here on the side. That happens, it's too bad. I like the open mouth look uh, where you can see the mushroom peg or the ball joint. Uh, Probably a mushroom. And people complain about it. I don't. I think it looks good. It's different. And, uh, you know, same thing with every other seeker. They should all have a different facial expression on it. Um, he's very green. You have a bit of paint here and the, the Autobot logo on the side for the shoulders. Uh, and that's pretty much it. I mean, you already have a bit of paint here, but that's going to be covered with toy hacks. 
It's gonna be actually done uh, better with toy hacks because this isn't painted properly. Uh, there's a little bleeding here, so unfortunately you can't fix that. So, but looking forward to it. So uh, now let's go take a look at him with uh, the decals. And here we are after the application of the decals. And I just wanted to do uh, right away a side by side because if anybody's under the impression that it would be the same set as Grapple, you're mistaken. Well, maybe if we bring them a little closer. You can see here that they've added decals for the ears, uh, which you don't have with uh, Grapple. They still had decals for the eyes, which is a pain. It's a terrible pain. And then you have a different window. This is one tone. Well, not one tone, kind of a low cell shading. And this one has actual uh, reflection. I prefer this one by far. I'm kind of disappointed that they didn't recycle the same one though because all of the others have it. But you know, it it's different. Um, so I don't mind too much. Uh, this part here under the uh, the grill is pretty much the same, although hauler is larger uh, under the headlight. Uh, the crotch decal are different uh, completely. I mean, same shape, different style. Uh, they use the same silver team uh, all around the, the wrist. This decal here on the side of the, uh, on the forearms is different. This is a I don't know, it looks more like power cells. Well, this is just a stripe. Um, funny enough, uh, this was orange and uh, Toy Hacks put a black decal on top of it. So Hasbro fixed it, put a, bl a black paint here, but Toy Hacks went, now nah, we can do better and did a sticker. So I don't know, it's, it's different. So they're not the same guy. Different uh, shin uh, decal like that. Uh, similar, but different for the uh, the wheels, uh, not the wheels, the hydraulic support here. Uh, the foot, again, different uh, on top of the foot and different uh, on the uh, the toes. So, you know, it's not the same thing. And uh, they included a little bit of more of pin covers, uh, which I've mainly applied here, 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 and under here. Uh, I put a gray one here because I ran out of uh, green. I have a green one here. And on the inside of the leg, you have this one here and here. Uh, I love pin covers. It's just, they're just fun, easy to apply. No problem. Uh, they're great. You have uh, the same decal for the connector here uh, that goes around. I had a lot of fun with that actually this time. Uh, it's my th fourth time now applying these. so. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. So overall, um, I love both uh, sets and I'm, I was happy to see that they weren't just reprinting the same stuff. So they actually sat down, you know, threw around some ideas, came up with something that worked and did it. Again, the, my only thing is that I wish these would have been the same windows as the other three other models. Uh, so, and, you know, it's, it's no biggie. So final look at Holler and Grapple in robot mode. Fateful night, far below the city, Megatron was born. Here you have Hauler with Jinbao Devastator, and I like it. I mean, you have some, sorry about the movement, but you have you know, some of the decals for the paint application from Jinbao uh, reflected to make it more uh, constructic on looking. So, you know, he could be one of the guys, but he has that little Autobot logo. Oh, you know, no longer part of the gang. Holler! Pull him up! And now in crane mode, he also looks fantastic. But uh, taking a look at this uh, crane, it's really good. I like the, uh, I always use the optional uh, twist here where you can you know, push it. You can have it centered, hold on, uh, like this, or you can have it on the side. I prefer to do it on the side because, you know, when you see them them going down the road, they're a little on the side so that the hook goes in front of the windshield, not in front of the driver. Uh, so that's pretty neat. Uh, gun placement. He moves a bit, you know, like it's he's stable, but sometimes he unpegs, uh, but not too bad. And I like the wheels. I'm gonna 
enjoy those pin covers. Uh, there's going to be details out of here to break all the, the green. It's going to look really good, especially with some enhancement here. Uh, breaking all that green on the back. Yeah, looking forward to it. So, of course, knock things out. So now, final look at the grapple before the paint job. And back from the shop, again, with uh, grapple to compare. Uh, they have um, more similarities. Uh, it's a different shade of color uh, here that they added here. And I, I don't know why, but they have this one decal here. Uh, they had none on the other side and it worked fine, but they had an extra one here for um, hauler and Because there's another one on this side When you slide it in it just peels off. So I figured I'll just match it one thing is that this one here Maybe I misapplied it, but um, you can see that the paint uh, the original paint paint application is still underneath so it kind of Slightly, I uh, see here the decal scraped off, and then there's a bit of silver just a little bit anyway. Uh, but here, yeah, anyway, so that that could have been you know a little larger, or like I said, maybe I reverse them. I don't know, I don't think so. Uh, the hydraulics here that's the same, is it the same? Let's look, yeah, no, it's different. You see, here there's a little panel with uh, you know buttons and stuff. And a warning label and there's nothing here so this is different and well this is just oh no wait it's the same thing i just applied them in reverse because of the images the images on toyhanks.com said to put it that way so i'm betting that if i go back and i look they're going to tell me to put it that way so it's the same decal they just reversed it eh, ingenious in a way uh but then the plate here uh, that's the same for everything and oh yeah the plate for he for him is in front uh, for hauler it's in front oh sorry like this hauler and this is the back here you have grapple you have one oh you add one in front I guess I could add one if I really wanted to in the back because I do have an extra one um so yeah different I mean this is pretty much all the same you have uh, uh, well, again, I'm lying. They're not exactly the same. If you take a look, let's go like this. Um, yeah, this is hard to do. This is different. The plates are the same, but this one is different. This is, you know, kind of x-ray of this, uh, the original one. Uh, this looks pretty much the same. Uh, this translates from robot mode, so they're different. Uh, very, very good. I mean, kudos to Toy Hacks, man. They really nailed it. I love this mold, and I love the, all the sets for all those molds. Uh, which is going to be the next shot. I'm going to go with the... F put all of this back in robot mode and do my final thoughts. And here we are at the end with Inferno, Grapple, Hauler, and Canadian Inferno. And fantastic. I'm loving this shot so much. It's... It's amazing. Again, my only thing is that I wish the window would match the other three. Maybe they did that on purpose so that it would actually be very different. It's possible. But overall, I'm very satisfied with this set. It's it's really, really good. I'm, I'm glad to have this. And like I said, I'm waiting for the blue, the pink, the whatever version of this mold. I'll pick it up. Uh, so if Fazbro's listening, they're not. But if they are... Uh, you know, do a whole Power Ranger set or whatever, and I'm gonna get it. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this Toy Hacks review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. I love reading those. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.